Show me how the whip shit cold Watching my step ground froze Most my days spent alone Same with my bro, he knows Ay, Gotta pay dues Walking in mud, you can check my Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Shanina. Hey girl, hey, and happy new year. It is the first day of January, and that means the first day of 2023 as well. So happy new year to you guys. And y'all, I'm decluttering. I'm getting rid of stuff. I've been saying I wanted to do this for a few days now. I'm just, just walking through and I'm just seeing things, right? So I'm going through hair products, beauty products, stuff that was under the sink, getting rid of things that I'm no longer in love with, you know, lost interest in, never used, it expired, etc., etc. And so, you know, it's a process. So, we're going to make some shake around here and see what we can do by trashing all of the things that are completely unnecessary and benefiting my life right now. Um I'm pretty much at this point hoarding some things because I mean I'm thinking of it as if I haven't used it in like six months um uh yeah I, okay why is it still here it's just taking up space right okay anywho let me show y'all what I've got done so far okay let me just say this if y'all hear some music in the background there is music being played in the living room and it is kind of loud I got my door shut just a tidbit but it's still loud y'all so I apologize about that if you can hear it Hopefully it's not loud. Um, but anywho, this is where I'm at so far, okay? So this is all of the stuff that was either under the sink or in my nightstand. All right, so let's go through it. I'm tired of using this. This is the Yardley Body Lotion English Lavender. I've had it for so long, girl. I'm just tired of trying to use it up. I told y'all that I was trying to use this up and use a couple of products up. Girl, please. We're not going to carry this over to this year, so we're letting that go. I've got this. Don't like it. I had, this was the backup, and I think I actually threw the one that was open away the last time I did a little purge like this. So, yeah, we're not carrying that into 2023. These gummies, it just took too long for me to finish these, to be honest with you. Like, these expire, let me see, back in November. <laughs> And I mean, they're gummies. I think I shared this with y'all before that they just taste like candy to me. Like, uh, it's weird because I prefer a gummy because I don't like swallowing pills, but it's like, dang, I don't want to, you know, these gummies are like really sugary in my opinion. I don't know. They, I just don't see where the vitamin falls. Like, I look at the ingredients and stuff, but I mean, the first ingredient does say corn syrup, sugar in the other ingredients categories anyway that's neither here nor there that's not going into the new year with us and neither is this guy because i took so long to finish that bottle this bottle got unused and it expires in january no need in holding it because i'm not going to open it i got to be real with myself this right here i lost interest in it y'all to be honest with you the face mask that i was using i think i did that with y'all on camera girl burnt my face okay <sighs> bottle of aspirin expired all this foundation and stuff i don't really know how long i've had this one to be honest with you i think this was a replacement of another believe foundation that i got from the dollar general but it's separating and girl i know i'm not gonna okay whatever with that it's time to go because you know it is uh this i've had for a long time letting that go this i've had for a long time letting that go this is thick af i don't even know why they put this in a bottle just the fact that I have to struggle to get it out turns me off, so that ain't going. This is expired. I went looking for this the other day, and girl, yeah, this expired back in September of 22. This right here I did get in an influencer box, I believe, and the only place that sold it at the time was CVS, but it was select CVS's. And this is just some CBD infused um, products. I have some other products sitting around here somewhere that it came with and they're they're no longer any good so um what was the expiration date that's what made me toss it 9 20 9 22 so september 22 so i managed to, oh this right here too i had to pour this out in order to throw the little bucket in the trash this wasn't even half gone y'all and it expired six months ago so who are you know that's a wrap so this is what it's down to this little basket i can just slide this up under the sink 
and it's really what I just use on a regular basis. I mean, my Epsom salt, my powder, my hair remover, my shavers or my razors, my little bath um, situation, and my little fresher up wipes. I like these, y'all. You can use these all over the body, like for real, for real. And they're only $1.25 at Dollar General. They smell so fresh. Not sponsored. Y'all know Dollar General ain't sponsoring no... Uh, sponsoring me over here anyway you know what i take that back i did get a collaboration with dollar tree some years ago it was a back to school situation so okay i take that back. so now i'm just going to go through this basket here there's a few things that i'm going to toss out these were also under the sink so these are my lotions because on my nightstand there's ah, it just there's so much of it right and i really need that's why i was thinking of them bookshelves not like um, side where the spaces are side by side, but like maybe like a five tier or four tier or something like that. That way the top of the bookshelf can still serve as a, a place for a lamp or something. But I'm accumulating um, lotions and body sprays. I took These were under the sink. These are all the lotions. I figured, well, since I put lotion on in the bathroom, I can keep them under the sink. But they're separated from my other body lotions that I just recently got for Christmas and my body sprays. And I want them all together. So anyways, I'm going to figure out this situation. This is a keeper because um, this is Olivia's ear piercing situation. And it's not even old. It doesn't get old until September of 23. So. And there's not that much in there. So. But anyways, y'all, this right here, um, I've had this gel lotion for a long time. I got it as a gift some years ago. I can't remember what occasion it was. I got this strawberry one at the same time. This gel lotion, I don't like the texture of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the label, empty the bottle, put one of these small, one of these lotions into it and throw it in my purse instead of having like one of these big old things in my purse. So that's how I'm going to do that. Joey, what up, John? This is Johnny. Yeah. I tell you, baby, I've been burned out. Let's spin the wheels and leave a burnout. If I stay here, I know it turns out bad. Wondering when it is my turn. Now I'm getting away. I tell you, I've been burned out. Spin the wheels and leave a burn out. If I stay here, I know it turns out bad. Wondering when it is my turn. Now I'm getting away. From the back of a white Bentley Try and turn my back on the cash But it might tempt me Everybody telling me chill But it turns out I've been trying to for years And still never learned how All I see is a million stories I'm trying to finish them I'm living in existence That never needs no embellishing I'm building out a legacy Others dream of just visiting Do when they say my name There is nothing close to a synonym Let me in I used to scream at the establishment Imagine that there's someone or something Holding me back from it Now instead of putting my hand out Beg of the scraps I say fuck the beaten path I'm a busting via the back Now instead of hit your ride I'm a slide to the destination I ignore the signposts I'm sorry I kept you waiting Still I got a lot of troubles I'm trying to figure them out All I know is I would rather blow up Than fizzle out I'll tell you baby I'm in burnout So awake with the tempo, mornings arrive with the type of energy I struggle to let go, echo. Chambers all around are telling me to work harder. But my foot's been on the gas, this car won't go faster. Times that by 365, I'd be shitty right quick. You want a piece of me? Get in line, suck on my bits of my day. You're okay, but my candle burns thin. Wonder if I'll get a break or if this is just it. Can't wait for the home run. White socks, but it's only me. I slide through with a vibe, but I don't believe I can keep this up in about a week or burn out. There's a risky business, short fuse with the people living up in my world. But if there's two giving no fucks, I'll appear rude. But I promise I'm not. Got me a house and a watch, got me a car and a bike with a wheelie. Still not appealing, living a feeling right between happy and lost. So I load up and I load out in a plane mode on my phone now. Never burn one, but I do now.
Okay, y'all, so now that I'm done with my skincare, beauty care, fragrances, all of that, um, I need to come in here and just let go of some things. I don't have a whole lot. I've got some clothes, like some little lounging stuff in this bin. Things that don't quite fit the same anymore, I need to go ahead and let them go. They're actually too big. It's not like I plan on growing into them. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of some stuff in here. trying these pants on that I bought from City Trends. The first time I tried them on, I still got the tags on them. They were $14.99. The first time I tried them on, they were too big. I guess I gained a little bit of weight because they fit just fine in the waist. The only part that could tighten up a little bit, even though I do like the stretch, but I feel like the stretch kind of makes them look big at the bottom. They are cute though. I bought them for the bell bottom effect. So, I like them. You can wear them in heels. I don't know. Like, this part right here is the part that I could take in. Like, I wish it was kind of like this, in a sense, with a little bit of stretch. So, and I've had them for a while, so I can't take them back to switch them out. These are a size 14. I'm sorry. These are a size 15, 16. I don't know what y'all think. Should I keep or let go? Let's see. Should I keep these or let them go? Got a little bit of room in the back. So they do come up. Got a little bit of hangage, but they're high rides. But if I could find some cute heels with these, I might just go ahead and hold on to them. I mean, they're brand new and they're not as loose as they were when I first tried them on. Oh, not to mention, I am a little bit bloated today. First day, I'm a cycle girl. Surprised me. Came a couple days earlier than I thought. So I'm about to sit y'all back right here so I can continue going through the stuff.
Okay, so good amount of stuff. And I've had a lot of this stuff for some years. Like this, these pants right here are older than Olivia. I need to go ahead and let them go. Okay, these jeans, they're too big. Um, these are mid-rise straight leg, but they're a size 16 medium. And I don't wear a 16. And then I've got a bunch of like random shirts, tank tops shorts got a little belt and a scarf so got a couple of shirts that i've had for some years um don't wear them so that was the whole point of going through my closets taking out things that i no longer want to take into 2023 i need to just go ahead and let them go now these leggings right here i wear them a lot they're very comfortable but they've got a hole in them so i don't know if i'm gonna go ahead and keep these for cleaning purposes or i don't you know what i'm not i'm gonna go ahead and let those go too so yeah that's where we at with that the closet this is all the trash that i've gathered so far i've even gone through hair products again and realized i've had quite a few that had been open for a while and I just don't use them fast enough, so time to go ahead and let them go. So this is what we're looking like in the closet. I've got space over here for new items. Um, I am thinking about getting like a sort of like a bookshelf or whatnot and moving these bins to the top shelf because I literally don't use anything in these bins. Like they're just, one of them has like purses in them. The other one has like just random hair stuff like rollers. I have an excessive amount of rollers. And then um, down there is like uh, degrees, certificates, stuff like that. And so in here, it's just basically just casual shorts, pajama bottoms, pajama tops. Um, I hung up all my leggings. So, all my uh, cold weather wear is over here. I've got one dress. I got this as a gift some years ago, um, and I've never worn it. And I keep hanging on to it because it's a gift. I've never even, I don't even think I've ever even tried this on, but it's a nice uh, summer dress. It's in the size 1X. I thought about selling it one time on eBay, but I would prefer to steam it out and put it on a mannequin because it's long it's like um high low so it's really cute though i need to go through some shoes i'm not going to do that today y'all i need to go ahead and get dinner started and all that um so i'm going to end the vlog here but i need to go through my shoes because i've had a lot of those shoes for years and i rarely wear heels anymore because of, like callus on my feet and stuff like that so i'm really just holding on to them hoping one day I can wear them again and it's not even that many shoes it's probably like about six or seven pairs of shoes down there a mix of like tennis shoes and dress shoes um there's a pair that I got from shoe dazzle some years ago never even got a chance to wear them they're still in the plastic so um that'll probably be a task for tomorrow but anyways y'all thank y'all so much for visiting the channel doing a little bit of organization and decluttering with me i hope you guys enjoyed if you like the video make sure you comment down below say hello in the comments make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys on another one bye